I'm here in Los Angeles at a friend of mine's library devoted to modern European and American literature and in first editions, as well as fine art books. We're going to discuss how books in this field achieve their value, how values arrived at. It's actually very simple. Modern first editions provide a fertile and very popular area for collectors in Europe and the United States uh, because the collectors, mainly young, uh, have gravitated towards the authors who they studied in school. And the criteria for establishing value is easy also to understand. There's two criteria. The first one is original condition. For example, Keats wrote, A Thing of Beauty is a Joy Forever. This is a first edition of Endemion, uh, where the lines were first printed. And uh, for many collectors of first editions, this is a thing of beauty. For others, it's just a drab, gray book with a little paper label uh, on, on the front. Uh, this is a copy from the Garden Sale uh, Limited, which was in um, 1989, I think. It was first published in 1818, and it's a first edition in very immaculate condition. Another example of the, along the same collecting lines, this is a first edition of John Donne's Poems, 1633, also from the Garden Limited Sale. Uh, this book was bound in drab wrappers when it first came out, if it was bound at all, but at a very early time it was put into contemporary sheep, which is what this is. And it's just as fresh as, um, as could be imagined. So collectors of modern, well, early modern and modern first editions like things in original condition as issued. Here's another example. This is a first edition of a famous novel from the 30s, Look Homeward Angel. Many of you have read it. This is the first edition in original dust jacket. And this is also inscribed to his secretary, uh, Hilda Gottlieb, in 1931. Not only is the book in almost perfect condition, but the dust jacket shows very few flaws. Now this can be taken to extremes. For example, if someone were to find a, a dust jacket without the book of Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, I'm sure it would sell at auction for close to $100,000. There's such a demand among collectors for, um, uh, for books as they were issued. And I'll explain why. Here's another landmark of modern literature, or a touchstone to use uh, Matthew Arnold's phrase. This is a first edition of uh, Ulysses printed in Paris in 1922, except for the glass scene that protects it. It's uh, in excellent condition, a little bit of chipping on the spine. This one's doubly delightful because it's one of a hundred copies signed by Joyce out of uh, an edition of a thousand, only a hundred of them bear the signature. Now, it actually v makes a great deal of sense understanding how value is arrived at when you realize that the collectors of these books want to see them as they came out so that they can get a little bit closer to the author in his own time. If you walk into the Getty Museum, or many museums nowadays, they have a select group of objects in pristine condition, all the way from Roman mosaics on forward. What they want to do is to show to the public the way the object looked in its own time. And the collectors here prefer that uh, approach as well. Now that isn't always the case. Uh, many, uh, many times collectors of modern first editions wish to celebrate uh, their treasures. They wish to celebrate what the works have done, what the authors have done, to lift their spirits, to 
um, to, to provide the greatest literature in poetry in the Western world. For example, um, this is a first edition of uh, John Milton's Paradise, uh, Paradise Regained, 1671. For some people, this is astoundingly beautiful, the way it's covered. Uh, this is a special binding by uh, Riviere, and this was purchased at the Dora Spence sale in the mid-1980s, and that's all handworked of interlaced patterns, slightly in the 17th century uh, style. Now, look at the inside as well to see the way the book has been uh, decorated. The, the blurs are also uh, highly ornate. And then there's another Keats edition. This is Lamia. Uh, many of you have read it, uh, Isabella and the Eve of St. Agnes. And you can see that when compared to the drab little covers of uh, Endymion, there's a world of difference. But they're both first editions and they're both valuable. This one because it's in pristine original condition. This one because it has a gorgeous decorative binding that celebrates the book within Literary first editions in the West, very attractive collecting field. Some of the items can bring many thousands of dollars. Next week, we'll talk about what is excluded by this approach to collecting, by the great book theory of collecting, and we'll go from there. Thank you.